Dwayne Haskins, dead at the age of 24, was walking along busy Interstate 595 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when he was hit by a dump truck and pronounced dead on the scene. scouting standpoint you were you, you uh, analyzed him over the years at Ohio State and, and coming into league with the Washington Commanders and then going to the Pittsburgh Steelers obviously it's a terrible tragedy and and what wanted your thoughts on that and also on the player because you did chronicle his career very closely well you know Dan uh, I hate anytime anybody is killed or anybody dies uh, but he was a guy that was living to be dead, so to speak. Uh, you know, they told him, don't under any circumstances leave school early. You just, you just don't have the work habits. You don't have this. You don't have that. What do you do? Left school early. Uh, I always can remember this. Uh, we invited players to the draft, and he was one of the players we invited to the draft. And uh, we were told, no, uh, uh, we're, uh, we're going to have our own party. His own party was uh, a party at the bowling alley, charged him 50 bucks to get into the bowling alley for his party. Uh, it was always something, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, I'm never offside, but they keep calling me for offside is what it is. So, you know, it, it's a tragic thing. Anytime anybody dies, it's tragic. Uh, and especially when you're 24 years old and you got to hold your whole life ahead of you. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe if he'd have stayed in school a year, uh, he wouldn't do silly things. I mean, I don't, when you're jogging on a highway, uh, you know, on a road like that, that leaves it open because I tell you, it's so, the uh, guy has two drinks and he's just a little bit to, to the right side of the road uh, and, and gets hit and killed. It's easy to happen. Yeah. We 
we talking athletes, it's always going to be a serious matter with me because of the shit that I know that we go through. That shit Adam Scheffner said, that shit Gil Brandt said, that's why I don't love it. That's why I don't. That's why I chose the path that I chose. Can I still play? You fucking right. But I don't love it. I hate how we mistreat it. I hate it. And I hate that. What I really hate the most is some of you athletes who see that shit don't even speak up. Like for real, I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart. We need each other more than you think. Because they sure take care of they they take care of themselves. And we need to start doing that. My integrity worth more than any type of money. Because if you that if your ass fucked around and be mentally ill and fucked up, you can't spend it anyway. Take care of yourself and take care of each other, man. Come on, wake the fuck up.